as soon as my dog has stopped interfering with it, I'm going to make a video about the bull bulls on these elephant garlics. Mini. Mini. Will you... Mini. Dogs are away now. So, I've recently harvested four elephant garlic bulbs. And around the bottom, in the ground, they form these bull bills. I've got another one as well. And what these are is very, very, very small, immature versions of that. And if we were to pot these up, what would happen is after a year, you'd have um, an elephant garlic grown, but it wouldn't have multiple cloves. It would be like one big clove. And then you keep that, and then you replant that, and then the year after, you'd get a bulb formed up of several cloves, like, like these are. So it's not for the impatient, this process, but if you're frugal and you want to save some money and develop your own um, sustainable supply of elephant garlic, you can pot these bull bills up. Now treat them like a clove of garlic when you plant them. So it's gonna be pointy side up, flat side down. I've got some pots of compost ready. Like I say, it's going to be a couple of years before we get from these bulb bills, we get a big bulb of elephant garlic like that. So, there's one done. Let's do another. Let's get some more off. There's quite a few. Okay, um, point your side up, just push it down about an inch, make sure it's covered. And then once I've potted all these up, I'm going to water them and I'm going to keep them in my cold frame, just so they're out of the way. Um, my cold frame doesn't have a cover on it in the summer months like it is now, but in winter it does. And it'll just give them a little bit of extra protection while they're small and vulnerable. Let's do one last one. In fact, actually, I've got four bulbs of elephant garlic and there's loads of these bulb bills around the bottom. So I might pot up some more. But for now, we've got five pots. And then in a year's time, I will take out the plant from these pots and I'll put them in a bigger pot. So what's going to happen in a year's time, remember you're going to have one big sort of like clove if you will, it, it won't have split up into a multi-cloved bulb because it'll only be in its first year. Um, so when I get that one big clove out of these pots, I will put that into this bigger pot and then a year after that, we'll be harvesting something like that. In fact. If I don't put them in the bigger pot, I might just plant them straight out. Treat them as plantable cloves and plant them straight out into the ground. But we'll see how we go. For now, pots these kind of size should be ample. So look on the side of this one. There's three. So off the four bulbs, I've got all of those there. And I've already planted five up. So I'm really tempted. I'm, I don't see any reason why I shouldn't put all the rest of these up as well. Let's really go for it. Let's get an enormous amount of elephant garlic. Because out, out of these, there will be some failures. I dare say there will be some failures. Not all of them will grow on. And then the, the weather might do for a couple of them in the winter perhaps but most of these should be okay and then in a couple of years we'll have a huge amount of elephant garlic because we, we do go through a lot of garlic in our house right before i get a load of comments it's not garlic it's more of a leek however it's called elephant garlic not elephant leek 
so I don't really care what it's related to I'm telling you what it's called elephant garlic not elephant leek elephant garlic right then yeah you know what I will get these potted up right it ended up I've pot potted up 15 bull bills of the elephant garlic 15 of them so wish me luck because like I said earlier it's not a quick process it'll take a couple of years but I think it's worthwhile doing and and you know what it's 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 also worthwhile because if I fail with these I can learn from that as well so some of your best learning is done when things go wrong isn't it so Ruby's just gonna water them nice little sprinkle right that's pretty much it mm -hmm. elephant garlic two years time here we come